All right, welcome back for part two of my interview with Dr. Claire Albright, psychologist and author of the book Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. In part one, we talked about the fact that she was getting ready to launch uh, her book on Kindle, that's Amazon.com, and she had led off the discussion by talking about the type of equipment that she uses in her office when she works with her patients and clients using neurofeedback. And she had mentioned that uh, she uses a brand called Brain Master. Now, Claire, you had alluded to the fact that there was something called Z-Score software and that you, you even kind of framed that as it was a Z-Score breakthrough, as yep. it were. So what can you tell me about what a Z-Score is and why it matters? Okay, what my Z-Score software, which people can purchase for about $900 or so, what it does is at every minute on my machine, for example, it's comparing, let's say, let's say your daughter w wanted to get a little peak performance training for her swim meet. Well, what it does is it compares 124 functions of her brain activity with a database of quote-unquote normal people who have no depression, no anxiety, no epilepsy, no autism, and it's just 650 people, and every moment... It, it just keeps reassessing her compared to the database. And then what it does is it rewards the person for moving towards the normal range. So uh, this sounds amazing to me. So if, if you could compare this, for example, if you were to compare this to, uh, and certainly not to negate from any of these things I'm using as a comparison, but if you were to, to compare uh, the technology of neurofeedback to something like, meditation, for example, where you're not using any equipment at all, in terms of, say, for peak performance, for example, how many light years ahead are we with something like neurofeedback as opposed to just sitting by yourself and meditating? Oh, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Uh, in my book, uh, there's actually a case study on that towards the end of the book, maybe two case studies of that. And uh, I've been, it's called Alpha Theta Training in Neurofeedback, and what it is is we reward the person when they hit that state. So with traditional meditation, for some people, it takes a long time for them to really learn it. But this should greatly shorten the learning curve for people. And uh, alpha theta training is what's that called. And last night I had a 16-year-old boy I was giving alpha theta training to. He loves it. And this morning I was already working on it uh, with one of my um, expert friends. We, we spent about an hour going over alpha theta training. It's amazing stuff. What's, I, I know that most of the time when you're dealing with any type of, of equipment like this that has to deal with health, mental health, sometimes the FDA is involved. Does the FDA have to provide clearance for these machines? Oh, yes. The brand I use, BrainMaster, does have a 510K clearance. I even uh, On Facebook, I even got to meet one of the gentlemen who, um, he's a medical doctor who helps uh, different companies around America stay within the ranges for the FDA. The FDA calls neurofeedback a relaxation device, so it's important that we all stay in the guidelines. And, and how important is this for the, uh, the consumer, the person out there who's looking at neurofeedback as a possibility for, for helping their particular condition or challenge? How important it is, is it to them to, to find someone who's working within those FDA guidelines? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, what I recommend is... Uh, you can you really want to see if the person's a licensed professional to begin with like I'm a psychologist I mean there you have a whole layer of protection there and then there's a group called the BCIA and uh, if they have a BCIA certification then you've got two things going for you okay so to recap uh, part one uh, I guess part one was that you your choice as far as uh, neurofeedback equipment is Brain Master, and the Z-score breakthrough, as you described it, is being able to look at so much raw data, which I can only assume then helps you get them to that point you're wanting to get them to much quicker. And exactly. we covered again that the FDA uh, does have some expectations and that it's uh, really a, a, a helpful thing for the consumer, the person out there, to make sure that they're working with somebody that's working within those guidelines and, and they're doing something safe, I guess you could say. Yep, exactly. If you're listening to the call, if you're listening to the recording, and you don't have the book, 
you can go to neurofeedbackbook.com and order a copy. And I'm sure if you're listening to the call and you do have the book, you're probably headed there now to order a second copy to send to a friend or a family member because you know the book is just that good. This is Vincent Harris wrapping up part two of my interview with Dr. Claire Albright, author of Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. Thank you very much, Dr. Albright. Thanks, Vince.